everybody. Jeff Williams here with AskJeffWilliams.com. Okay, now for most of you out there who watched my first video, The Secret to Finding Easy Gold, where to look, this is going to be a continuation of that video, part two if you will. Now for some of you out there who haven't seen that video, go to my YouTube channel and scroll around until you find The Secret to Finding Easy Gold, where to look. Watch that one first because I'm telling you, you're going to want to know that information and it'll explain why we're out here and why we're looking at this crazy red stuff. Now for the rest of you all who did see that video, of course you know we're out here looking for gold. Got to get the gold and we're going to sample this beautiful looking limonite that's just laying all over these beautiful piles all over the place. So that's what we're going to do today because the USGS report said that there's free mill gold in here and if there is, we're going to find it. So here we go. Okay, so uh, we're going to set up our sampling gear right here. we got a nice flat level spot um, so we can bring over our little sample piles over here and we'll get this thing set up and get it filled with water so we can start finding some gold. So here we go. Okay, now I'm not going to go into detail what we use for sampling gear because I already made a video called The Secret to Finding Gold. Now if you're curious, you can either leave me a comment or watch the video. It'll explain everything to you. Uh, but for right now, this is most of our sampling gear except for the water. And we're going to set it all up right here. And uh, I'll walk you through the steps. So here we go. Ah. Okay. Now we're using four gallons today. That should be enough. I prefer five. But four is going to have to do. Okay, so we got our sampling gear right here. Now today I'm going to be uh, using a classifier screen. Uh, it's a quarter inch. I like the quarter inch uh, when we're working out here and sampling. Some guys like using the three eighths. I like the quarter. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to find what looks to be the most promising piles of limonite. And then we're going to start pulling samples. Remember I told you, a 10 pan uh, sample. If you don't find anything in 10 pans, give it up. There's no free metal gold left, okay? So let's go. Okay, now I like this yellow limonite. There's all different colors of it. It's brown, red, uh, sometimes you got manganese oxide in it, but I like the super yellow stuff because I found in the past that's what has the most gold in it. So we're gonna just dig a little sample right here. Nothing much. Classify, classify. Dump that off to the side, just a small pan. Let's go over and take a look. Okay, nothing fancy. Stratify your material. Remember I told you how to do that. Shake, shake, shake. We'll use the sunlight to find out if there's any gold in it. Some really, really tiny microfine gold, but nothing to write home about. So we'll get another sample from this dark red stuff. So here we go. Okay. Whew. All right. Um, sampled a couple of these other piles over here. They had a little bit of fine gold in it, not a lot. This one I'm really interested in because it's sitting right next to the portal, um, which is the entrance to a mine. That's what they call it. Anyway, I sampled a little bit and I was getting some nice pieces in here, so I'm gonna sample some more and see what we got. So wish us luck. All right, here we go. Look at all that limonite in there. Iron too, look at that solid iron. All right. Copper too, tons of copper carbonate. Copper carbonate and copper sulfate. This mine was also known to produce what's called plumbogerasite. The gold sometimes travels in jerasite and plumbogerasite. And you can see, look at that. You got uh, malachite, chrysocolla. I don't know if you can see that nice blue rock that came out of this pile, but it's all in here. That's why I'm really interested in this one. Iron everywhere, look at this, just chunks of bog iron. I told you about that 
in my other video. Tons of copper too. All right, that should be enough. Okay. All right, come on, let's go take a look. Remember, when you're working with iron, stratify really hard and pan slow because that gold will sit on top of that iron. And you don't want that, trust me, <laughs> you'll be losing some gold. And yeah, you're going to get wet. chunk of iron look at that solid iron that's what you want to see lots of iron and limonite all right let's take a look at this one tap the pan down then we'll do a quick shake some nice gold in there. Hold on a second. A lot of black sand in there. Shake that down. Ah. See if I can tap that up to the top for you. All right, come here, take a look at this. All right. Now, I also mentioned, bring a jeweler's loop with you. This is a 10 time power wheel. They got 10, 20, 30, 40. Some of them got lights on them too. This is my little jeweler's loop that I use. All right, you can see the gold right up there in the crease of the pan. You get real close, you can see that. And I got a jeweler's loop right here so you could take a peek in there. So you can see that gold. Oh yeah. There's a nice piece right there. See all the other little pieces in there. Yeah, that's a little piece of gold with some um, manganese oxide on it and some ironstone. Very nice. Not too shabby. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll come back with a dry washer and uh, see if we can get some more gold out of here. So anyway, there you have it. There is gold in the limonite. Not a lot, it's super fine. So you're going to have to really be careful when dry washing, but it is here. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, episode of finding gold in limonite. And uh, I want you guys to go out there and see if you can find some of the gold yourself. So until next time, this has been Jeff Williams with AskJeffWilliams.com saying, it's not about having the gold, it's about finding the gold. Take care.